Hey guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add curved beam. Okay, so we're going to add it here on our entryway. Remember on our last video, so we created our curved grid, right? So by the way, I renamed that to 0.25. Okay, so this is where we are going to create it. Same way as we created this curved grid. So we use our grid here as our guide. So let's go to our structure tab. And then after that, from the structure panel, so let's select the beam here. Okay, and then we will be using the same type. So W12 by 26 wide flange. And then from the draw panel, we will be using here start and radius. So meaning we are going to pick first the start of our beam. And then after that, the end of our beam then the next is the radius of our beam okay so let's click this one right and then okay so the radius is uh, 32 feet as well okay so let's do this so let's pick the midpoint of this beam let's click that and then after that um let's click this midpoint here and then the arc let's click there you go. And then after that, just select modify to terminate the tool. So that's how you place it, your curved beam. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is let's click this beam and open up that in 3D view. So let's click selection box and then just click outside and then just zoom there. Okay. So let me just adjust the section box. There you go. Now, you will notice here that our uh, beam is not properly connected to our uh, column here. Okay, but that's alright because if you will notice for the analysis, our analytical model here, the orange for our beam is actually connected to the analytical model of our structural column here. So that's why that's all right. Even if it is in model, they are not properly connected. But don't worry when you do the analysis, the analytical model there is properly connected. Same with the endpoint here, the other side. Okay. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is just like what we did here on our column here or on our beam here. So we are going to uh, modify the property of this. We're going to lo lower down to minus 5 inches again to accommodate the slab that we will be creating in the future exercise that we are going to do so just like this um, beam here we're going to modify this so let's click our curved beam and then from the instance properties let's look for the z justification and then let's make sure this is top let's change the offset value to minus 5 inches okay and there you go so it's now offseted minus five inches all right so that's it for this video so hopefully you learned something if you have any questions just put it on the comment section below so thank you for watching have a nice day